this reflection on walking our life path. What a cool thing to consider. For me, when I think of walking my life path, of course, it requires like taking a look at it. Where have I been? And how far I've come. And I think for all of us, we would have a similar experience of looking back. We look back at our choices in life and the path that it took us on. Because isn't that what walking our path is about? Is like we make choices along the way. And then that choice point opens up a path. Then we have to walk the path. And what I've noticed in my own experience is every time I make a choice, so I can look at clear choice points in my life. I chose when I was 18 years old to move away from Oregon, to move to California, to pursue my dream of being a rock star. That let, I mean, that was a, a major choice point. And in that choice, uh, all kinds of different things opened up for me, moving to California, uh, following my heart. That not only included music, but that included my own uh, coming out story, coming out of the closet. That was a big thing. That was a choice point that led to uh, new freedoms. But I've also noticed that a lot of the choices that I've made in my life have led to increased responsibility, even choosing to uh, get married. Any of you who have gotten married have probably made the commitment of like for better, for worse, or for sickness or in health. And whether or not we're able to actually keep that commitment, because sometimes it always isn't right to, to stay with the same person, but I know for myself, and I'm only going to speak for myself, that commitment, that choice uh, is a lifelong responsibility because I'm choosing to keep the commitment. I'm choosing to stay in that place of love in sickness or in health. As many of you know, uh, my partner Kimberly has over the last, gosh, how long has it been happening since like 2008, I think, is when uh, she first received a, a diagnosis, but it's been a journey. And what I've noticed is that in my life, there is this ever-increasing responsibility to care for her. And along the, along the path, I chose to get into ministry. Wow. There's always this idea that we think before, when we make the choice, is this is what it's going to look like. This is what it's going to feel like. This is what it's going to be. We're going to use the power and magic of what it is to be a human and a divine being to create this ideal scene. And yet, it doesn't always go like that. But what I want to talk about in, in all of this, because I think you feel in what I'm, what I'm talking about here is because all of our choices bring us a set of responsibilities. We may not see all those sense, those responsibilities, the things that we have to show up for, the things that we have to rise up for, the things that we have to set aside our own personal desires sometimes to fulfill the responsibility. I know I struggle with that sometimes. I do. Sometimes I, I think back to the time when life was simpler and, and uh, uh, I didn't have much to worry about other than my own self. But this, uh, one of the things that came through for me as I was thinking about my life path and the, and the life path that we all are sharing together is this word integrity that comes loaded with a lot of different things. But what I'm talking about is something that I've come to know more for myself to become more and more aware of is like integrity as it relates to my field. As an attunement practitioner, as being in ministry and being there to support others on their path and to also be committed to my own growth, to my own transformation, uh, integrity to the energy field means being mindful in each moment of where I am. Am I oriented to spirit? Am I oriented to love? Am I oriented to truth? 